Hey, what's going on? It's Brother Kamal Mahar here. Um, first things first, we we'll give all praise to the Father Yahweh and the Son Yahweh Shah and the Holy Spirit, Raka Kodash. Um, double honors to the apostles of GMS um, that I learned this truth from. Definitely learned the truth from them. Um, soon I will be, I'll have my own camp up. Proud of that. We'll be on the, on the byways, another camp in Philadelphia uh, coming soon. Uh, looking forward to it, um, getting a couple pieces together, and um, we out there. We're doing our thing, doing the Lord's work. It's all it's about. Um, I want to say, uh, you know, peace and blessings to the Akim out there uh, preaching his truth with whole heart, truth and sincerity, and um, uh, peace and blessings to the whole for elect, 144,000 first fruits of kingdom of heaven, and um, what's going on to the confusion of faces, speaking in different tongues, looking at different nations. If you are a different nation looking, and your spirit wraps around this, more than likely uh, you are a Hebrew Israelite, and more likely somewhere down the line your forefather was definitely a Hebrew Israelite, so you have the blood, and it's the reason why um, you have this truth, because the Most High gave it to you, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, and your spirit wrapped around it, you are a Hebrew Israelite, no matter how you look. Um, today I wanted to get on, uh, I wanted to uh, get on prudent men. Um, which is basically uh, prudent means foresight, being able to you know see in the future or have the knowledge of the future to be able to move in circumspect situations, and also how to um, you know conduct yourself knowing what the future ha uh, holds. But I believe another brother, um, uh, one of the mother brothers, uh, I, I will definitely consider him elder as well. Now, um, I, I can tell you've been in the, in the um, around the truth for a while. Uh, the, the one brother from the uh, Yahweh Shah is coming back um, channel YouTube. Check him out. Um, definitely um, bad brother. Um, he called this particular situation, which I thought was nice. And so I'm giving credit where credit is due. And also, I used to play games or sometimes, but as far as video games, we would try to cheat and we'll, we'll use different things, different, different codes called the cheat code in order to get around when something's difficult so you can lower the difficulty in general and then have all the answers and just win. And so he said something about that as far as prudent men. And that was a really, really good um, analogy. My spirit wrapped around that because I was a cheat code playing game, uh, playing game guy like crazy. So I understood that like greatly. Um, also, um, I'm an athlete. So I was I would call this like, you know, having the other team's playbook in general. I believe brought that up. I'm also a sports player. So I had to piggy bank off of this one. Because uh, it just it just hit me hard. It just related to me so crazy. But when it comes to these prudent men, they're very very valuable, and um, which is the servants and the prophets of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You see these on the YouTube's. You see these on the corners. Uh, so called Negroes, uh, Latinos, Native Indians. Uh, we were prophesying on the corners and on the YouTube about the second coming of Yah of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, um, Salakia. And, um, you know, we're, we're talking about the destruction of a Babylon the Great. Um, we're talking about, you know, which is which is the America itself, Babylon the Great, New Egypt, the whore, Babylon the Great, all the same thing. But, you know, all those different names regarding the destruction of um, of America through thermonuclear war and World War Three. We all know that this is going to happen. It needs to happen. So, you know, in order for us to get out of get out of here and go in the kingdom, because, you know, we 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 living in this particular situation a lot of us brothers are just not in the truth and don't understand and um jake always believes that you know um they're or, or they're trying to do things working their butts off to try to make it out here and i'm not gonna lie to you um the true south set me free i have been doing that a while myself for some time not now but before when i before i was in the truth you know, I, I tried to become a millionaire. I tried to, you know, make it out of here. But when you come in this truth, you start learning like, wow, you, you set up down here to fail because you're in captivity. And see, that's what a lot of people don't understand when it comes to this world. A lot, a lot, a lot of us, Jake, so-called Negro, Native Indians and Latinos, you know, we complain and cry out and don't understand why we can't make it. And Deuteronomy 28 from 16 on down to 68 would explain why we can't but you know that's why we out here on the highways and byways and on youtube um actually preaching so that way we can um you know preach the lost sheep so we can explain this so that we can give an idea and then obviously more and more souls can come in and uh, when 144,000 is always sealed we out of here and that's just that's just the goal preaching the gospel but today i wanted to get on prudent men 
uh, which have which is the uh, which which was uh, given the secrets and the knowledge of prophecy and what what is to come. And this was given to us by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah himself, um, because we are the servants, so he can get us prepared of what's going on, and we can and we can also tell the lost sheep so that way we can sue everybody and so we can get out of here. Thermonuclear war will come, and then you know, we're not gonna see that judgment. Um Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah William, I'm, I'm one of those men to uh, be elected. Um that's what we're doing. And so I want to start with the one precept, uh pro uh Proverbs 12 and 23. Um, you know what? It's the spirit too. Also, matter of fact, we can go at 16 first. It says, a fool's wrath is presently known, but a prudent man cover his shame. I really like that one. I just read that one a couple minutes ago. Um, and the spirit wrapped around me to understand this, to be able to break it down. See, I'm learning that, uh, or been learned now, that not a lot of people uh, that's, that's, that's not in his truth, you just can't read the Bible and just understand it. Now, my being in the truth, and I've been learning, and, and the most high that gave me the you know, the spirit to actually, you know, actually come across his information. And then uh, and he gave me the understanding from the apostles and the elders and all the brothers on the out there. You know, I, I could have been, you know, I could have been somebody where it been like, you know, I could have rebuked it away. I could have been like, oh, all right. But for some reason, my mind turned on and I just like I just got it like it just came to me. And, it, and that's a blessing. You know, to have faith now and to understand and to have understanding. It's, it's, it's incredible when you get into this. You'll be like, wow, I never read the Bible this, this way before. Well, that's because, you know, it was never given to you until now. And you wasn't meant to wake up until now. And Most High gave you that. Yahweh Bashan Shah gave you the, the knowledge and the wisdom to be able to use these men as vessels in order to be able to understand the, the true doctrine and actually wrap around it. See, the wrap around it part is the actual thing the Most High gave you. Belief and faith and understanding. Like, that's all part of the game. And if you can wrap around this, man, I'm telling you, more than likely you bless. But that's up to the Most High, Yahweh Bashi Yahweh Shah. That's why we always say, the Lord willing, one of those men. So you got to say it like that. Because, you know, we, we, we feel like we are, but it's all the Most High's willing. Um, but when it says a, a, a fool's wrath is presently known, but a prudent man, it covers shame. Now, like I said, a prudent man would be like a person that can foresight. So we've been given the cheat code, like the one brother off of Yahweh Shah's Coming Back channel said, um, which was really awesome. Was where like we know it's gonna happen before it happened. So it's like, you know, you can't fool us. Like we like we know it's gonna go happen. So now we have an opportunity to defend ourselves and be able to know how to how to move around, be circumspect in order to, you know, not be caught off guard, be surprised. We we know what's going on. Like if we can if you can just look down and you know, like, okay, um you, you got the knowledge of, you know what, um five seconds from now, if I was to walk forward to with my right foot. I was going to uh, roll onto a ball and slip and fall. But you knew that already, so you knew to just kind of go to the left a little bit and not and not go that direction because you knew you might fall. So now by so then you got the you got the cheat code and the, and the and the prudency in order to be able to understand what's going to happen. So it didn't happen at all. You just you just you just, you just the, the answers have been given to you, so you good. It just it's a beautiful thing to know what's going to happen before it happens. But in this case scenario, think let's think about this one. A false wrath is presently known. Well, yeah, think about that. It's presently known because once a fool, you know, you know, shows himself at that particular moment in time, it's the present and we all see it. And so it's right now you a fool. We can see that you didn't mess that up. And the fool's ravage has been right now. But a prudent man would know, OK, let me not act like this, because I know for a fact that if I act like this and act like a fool and let my wrath come upon itself, you know, everybody presently going to see me for who I am or who I should, who I, who I, who I think they or what they think I am. And I, it's going to cause ridicule and a lot of effery and negativity of attitudes and all kinds of bad impression that I don't feel like right now. So you circumspect before that and you prudent to know what's going to happen. So you don't even act like that. And so you cover the shame. There it is right there. It's a beautiful thing. And it's like being able to move like that. I want to jump down to also to, um, what was that, uh, 23. It says, a prudent man conceal of knowledge, but the heart of fools proclaim foolishness. And that's real, that's real talk. Like, you know what I'm saying? Conceal of knowledge. You're going to conceal that. You know what I mean? Because, you know, we're going to preach to the lost sheep, but then again, you know, we, you know, we're going to consider our knowledge so that way, you know, we don't we don't be like, you know, what, what uh, 16 was talking about. You want to conceal that knowledge because we're the ones that got it. So we're going to keep and protect it. You know what I'm saying? Because we're not going to give it to everybody. You can't teach Jake. We're going to tell them what's going to happen. But you know what I mean? But they're not going to listen or hearken to us at all. And so but the heart of fools proclaim foolishness every single time. Um, 
Matter of fact, we can go to um, Proverbs 14. Uh, that was Satan right there. Proverbs 14 and 15, I believe. Yeah. All right, 14. Yes, it's the uh, the simple believeth every word, but the prudent man look as well to his going. And that's a bad scripture right there as well. I like that. Now, see that right there. Um, um, is a uh, real, real deep because when you think about it, when you real simple and you basically a two third, you know what I mean? It's like you basically gullible, like, you know what I'm saying? Like you real simple and gullible, you know, anything you hear, you know, you're going to pretty much, you know, hearken to it. Like you're going to believe everything somebody else say. That's a simple minded person. That's not good at all. I can get, they can get you put to death. Not even by the most highest judgment, but just being stupid. Like, that's just like a fool. Like, what? You believe that? Or then you believe that? And you believe that too? Like, you believe every word? And I see that's not good at all. But then again, when you are a prudent man and you have the keys to success and the cheat code and you and you can and you can foresight, well, then now it says, but the prudent man look as well to his going. So now we know exactly where we going and what we doing and we know we got the real doctrine and the real and the real names and the real faith and the real belief and we talking the, the, the legitimate paleo hebrew yahweh bashim yahweh shah now all everything about us is, is true doctrine because because we got the true knowledge and we're farsighted uh foresighted from yahweh bashim yahweh shah so anything you got to say to us from any other doctrine or anything that's going by we ain't we ain't gonna hear it like we ain't got like whatever like I know it's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And then and I already know that for a fact, but you like, no, Jesus Christ or Yahuwah or Shia. Yes, it is. I'm like, whatever with you. Like my my belief, my confidence, and everything about me is, is on my well going. Where I'm look, I'm over here with it, dog. Y'all can stay over there. I'm over here with it. Like y'all not fooling me with that fuckery. Excuse my language, but that's why I'ma say it. And so that's what it means by but the prudent man look as well to his going. Exactly what that means. You know what I'm saying? We know what we're doing. We, know, we already know what's about to happen. We already know what's going to go down. You ain't fooling me. Go ahead with yourself. And we can just walk on by and not even have to listen to it. Like, yeah, all right. <laughs> and keep it moving. That's it. You know what I mean? So that's all the blessing of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And I'm just blessed to be able to, you know, break these scriptures down because I understand precept upon precept, line by line, here a little, there a little. If you're not doing it like that, it's not going to work for you. It's really not, man. Really not. I'm also noticing that you got to really be careful with this because some scriptures don't, doesn't always break down the way you think it. Some scriptures, you got to actually read the chapter or down to the whole book to be like, oh, that's why I said that. Like you got to read, read it, read it the, the correct way. You got to cross reference it line by line here, a little there, a little. Because sometimes, you know, for example, like I'm learning in like, for example, like. In the New Testament, you'll learn that saints are and saints is in the New Testament. You're like, well, what is a saint? Then you gotta go in the Old Testament to see what saints is. That's where the hair little there little is about. You see, you know, that's just what you gotta do. You know, that's how that works. And so, you know, you ain't fooling us. We out here. And um, this is definitely a true doctrine with, with no if, ands, buts about it. Um, matter of fact, staying in Proverbs, we can go to uh 23. This app is awesome. You get a swipe across like this. That's pretty nice. 23 and uh, verse 9. It says, Speak not in the ears of a fool, for he despised the wisdom of thy words. Now, that's pretty deep too because not everybody going to take and take to adhere to this at all. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, like when I, in the beginning, yes, I will I will totally be truthful. Um, I, I, I have been told, I, I don't feel too bad because I've, I have been told from a lot of Hebrew brothers that in the extremely very beginning, you get you, you're on fire. I'm we all are still on fire, but you get you, you got this over righteous. Sometimes things go down, and you pretty much like you know, you, can, you can become over righteous a little bit, and you just you just you just can't believe what you hear. You know, the Most High gave you the truth, and you just like what I want to tell everybody. Like everybody got to know this, but you start noticing. And you, then you get deep in the scriptures again. You start noticing that you know. Um, it's, it's, it's ain't for everybody. You're going to preach to the sheep because it's a numbers game. So it can be 15 people you're preaching to, but only one or two of them going to hearken to it. Well, I, well that's because they're elect. That's why. So the rest of them is like, all right, and you, you, you learn, you got to dust your feet off and keep it moving. But not everybody's going to be, uh, 
is going to be uh, hearkening to this. Sometimes, man, you know, I, I, my brother is a, a manager uh, for T-Mobile, and when you in this, when you in business, they tell you that don't don't uh, underestimate people's appearance or profile in the business world because a bummy person can have all the bread, more money than any anybody else in the store. You just don't know that, so you are judging them, so you don't want to talk to them at all because you're judging them. In this case scenario, you can kind of see how Jake moves sometimes. And it's like, damn, like, you know, you're not going to be able to, I mean, so like what I do is nowadays, you know, I kind of like can kind of foresight this one in a way too. It's just like, I, I know either I know the person already and I know how they're going to respond due to the lifestyle that I'm, I'm used to a, of the person. So it's like, you know, J, I'd be like, you know, J.A., man, you know, uh, we, you know, we the real Hebrews of the, the Bible, man, you know, so-called Negroes, Latinos and, and, um, and Native Indians, man, you know, take a look at that. You know, man, I'm, you know, I'm all deep into it. You know, I want to definitely, you know, get you, you know, you're just trying your best to kind of, you know, plant a seed and see how it work. And they, and they like, ah, you know what I mean? I heard about that. Or they might just rebuke it away. Well, and there you go. It wasn't meant for them. Their ears ain't going to really, you know what I mean? So this is a, uh, so it says, speak not in the ears of a fool for the, for he will, will despise the wisdom of thy words. And that happens. And we see that. We see that on the highways and byways. And even when I do it on the street, I mean, as far as where I'm walking, I, I try to, you know, anywhere I go, I try to, you know, plant a seed the best I can in my particular, um, walk. You know what I mean? So, you know, if I'm out on the highways and byways at, at this particular point, which is coming very soon, you got my friend just proud. I'm proud of that. Got my shack, uh, my cloth, I'm right here. So but while I'm not there, you know, I'm at least still go further because because all the work can be done in any different ways and creativity. I'm learning that. So you gotta do something. You gotta you gotta keep pushing in some way. You just can't always chill. You gotta find like some creative some creative way, other than the videos or or wherever you are. If you're not doing the highways and do videos, if you're not doing videos, you know, speak speak speak, speak to people like a, a retail salesperson would. It's all pleasing to the Most High. Um, so, but they're going to despise and it's just, you know, it's just one of those things. Um, matter of fact, let's go to Proverbs 22 and three. There he goes again. A prudent man foresees the evil and hides himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. There you go. So, you know, we, we, you know, that's, that's what's awesome about, about the word, man. It's, it's very repetitive. And when something is very repetitive, then that means it's like, okay, somebody say you a cocky person, man. And you always mean. And seven, eight, nine people said it. After a while, you're like, man, I might gotta look in this mirror, man. Too many people saying the same thing. Like something gotta be up with uh, up here. And so when the Most High is got his got his prophets using them as vessels, preaching the word and saying the same things over and over again. Now you gotta think, okay, all right, something's going on here. Is something you know? What I mean, something gotta be right here. Let's break this down a little bit. A prudent man foreseeth. Now, that's the spirit right there. I didn't even get on this precept yet, but there you go. Prudent man was actually in the Bible explained what, what the word means by foreseeing. There you go. You can foresee something before it go down so that way you can actually protect yourself. You know what I mean? It's like a boxer or one of those, or a running back like I play. Like I can see something happen before it happened, so I move the opposite direction to evade the trick score that touchdown. Or that hooker's coming. You know, you can see it coming by the shoulder, by the shoulder implanting up. And then, boom, you just dip out the way to make your final blow. So you can foresee it before it happens. Not actually when it swings. You can actually see it from a, a reflex of a shoulder. It's pretty impressive how these how men have, this, have, the, uh, have the, um, the skill set to be able to do that. And I do, too, as a running back playing football. I can see things happen before they happen due to the play that I'm running. Um, but back to the point. Um, a prudent man foresees evil. Now, now, what, now, right. We just said that the Most High gave his men, his servants, and the prophets to be able to um, to foresee. We got the prophecy. We got revelations. We got Ezekiel. We got Isaiah. We got Jacob's trouble. We got the RFID chip. These things ain't even happened yet. So we're, we're, we're prepared already. Oh, uh, martial law, which is coming. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's a lot of things that the Bible talk about is happening now that you know ain't happened to America yet, but it's coming. You got earthquakes in diverse places as, as other than America, volcanoes in Hawaii. I mean, it's getting real. Weather is getting crazy. We are definitely in the end times because none of this stuff has ever happened before. But according to prophecy, there, you know, there was times where we were reading stuff that didn't even happen yet. Like nothing a part of the world, according to what the Bible is saying, is like happening. Like, well, that, well that, that doesn't exist. That doesn't happen. I never seen that before. That means it's foresighted then. Like now it's foreseen. These other prophets that was back in the day seeing seeing what we're doing right now. That's incredible. If you don't believe, you tripping. 
<laughs> like these bulls that lived thousands of years ago are talking about the time frame of right now. And now we're living in the time frame that is going down that, the, that Isaiah and them brothers was talking about. This is crazy. Revelations is the meaning re mean revealing. And so you got the RFID chip, the right hand, the forehead. We now you see you see people talking about chips now being planted to the right hand and the forehead and, and buying and selling and with, with the damn thing. If that is the chip, you tripping. That is the damn chip. That is the mark of the beast that Revelation is talking about. 13 and then 14 if what happens if you get it. This is crazy. Like if you uh, yo, and so the most high gave his prophets and servants to be prudent, gave us the ability. That's spiritual power right there in a way. I'm sorry. That's, that got to be spiritual power on a low level. Like, it really do. It has to be. Because we foresighting and this stuff is coming to pass. And what it say? When stuff hit the fan, people going to know that a prophet was among them. For real. Because we talking to, like, yo, yo the, uh, the, chip is the chip is the RFID chip. Radio frequency ID chip is going to be in the right hand and the forehead. And then now we now we in the time frame where we getting chips in the right hand and the forehead to buy and sell. Are you tripping? Are you serious? This is like really happening. Though the board told me I was gonna go down. Now I'm a I'm one of them serving the prophets now, so I, I'm already in the game. So I'm trying to tell people like, yo, chill, do not get it. Because I'm telling you, we're the prudent men that can foresight what's about to go down. All thanks to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah, we're able to do this. He gave us the, the, the spirit and the spiritual power. I'm I'm gonna say it like that. That's spiritual power. Cause nigga, I mean, shoot, to break this, break this down, understand like this, and cause this whole Bible is like, is like, is like a, a puzzle itself. Like, you know what I'm saying? So be able to understand this and be able to see this. That's spiritual power. I don't care. Faith and belief, and then added on that to it. That's spiritual power on a low level. I don't care what you say. And so, um, you know, and so you know, right there, a prudent man foresees the evil and hides himself. Now, boom, that's just self-explanatory. That's self-explanatory. So you know, hey yo, man, them dudes about to them them dudes about to start shooting in this park in about 15 minutes. Let me go lead the park right now and get everybody that believes me to keep coming to come with me because they about to start shooting so we can hide ourselves and not get shot. We foresighted that we knew what was going to happen already. So let's leave up the vicinity so we don't get shot. 15 minutes later, we're gone and 30 people got shot. How is that possible? Because we hit ourselves. Cause we're, cause the Most High made us prudent men to know that was going to happen. Self-explanatory, but the simple pass on and are punished. Now, what did the? Now, this is the spirit. What did the simple say in the other scripture? The simple was uh, Proverbs fourteen. Let's do it. Now, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, real quick, real quick. This is the spirit. This is this is this is awesome. See, this is all. Oh, this is amazing how the spirit works. But the simple pass on and are punished. Now we can go to. Uh, we can go back to uh, Proverbs 14 and talk about what the simple would be doing and what the simple are. 14 and 15. It says, uh, the simple believeth every word, but the prudent man looketh well to his going. There you go. So a simple person ain't about to hearken. They about to just be like, whatever. You know what I mean, believe or not believe or somebody can say, no, it's not. And they're going to believe that. It's like a simple person is a fool. They're, they're not going to they're not going to hearken at all. And so it's 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 gonna go down for them. And so now you got the third chapter, thir thir twenty two and, th uh, and uh and three. A prudent man foresee the evil and hide himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. So they didn't believe. They didn't. They did. They 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 believe everything, but not this time, obviously. And a simple person is a fool. And so now a fool will stay around, like 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 how a simple person will do. And and then what happens? Get punished and pass on because they got shot. Wow, man, I don't understand, man, but there's a lot of us that are simple and it's just not good. And it's just, it's sad, man. It's just, but the most high going to give his, going to give his, uh, give the spirit up of understanding to whoever he going to get understanding to. And, um, I think my last, my last precept, um, our last precept will be, um, I think Colossians. Yeah. Colossians, uh, I think the first chapter in 26, I believe when we come to even misery, right. Even the mystery which have been hid from ages and from generations, but now was made manifest to his saints. Now, I just explained that. This is incredible. See, I like when I talk and then the scriptures back it up. It's just amazing, man. And so what I just say, I said the prudent man 
is a prudent man that, like it says in 22 and 3, a prudent man foresees the evil. Well, that, but, but, but to be able to foresee through prophecy and be able to break down scriptures in the Bible and also the Apocrypha, um, which is should be in the same thing with piece of shit Esau or try to take it out, but whatever, we got that now. Um, we foresee of the evil because the Most High gave his service saints, the servants, prophets, saints, same thing, the elect, all of that. It's one and the same. He gave us the ability to be prudent men to foresee the evil. He gave us that ability to do that. That's why we got this Bible when we try to preach to the sheep, which is the Israel, elect only. Israel, which was Jacob, his name changed to Israel, which birthed 12 sons, and 12 sons make up the 12 tribes of Israel, so-called uh, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians. And so um, by doing that, whereof I am made, um, I'm sorry, Salakia, even the, min even the mystery which have been hid, these mysteries are hidden crazy because, because at one point in time, us, us, except the apostles from a while back, there's a, there's a lot of times it was me, anybody, this this mystery was hidden. The gospel itself, Esau, Edom, all the Valley of Jehoshaphat, Thurkula New War, um, um, uh, Mark of the Beast, all of these things are mystery that was hidden. Because Esau don't understand this, and all the other nations don't understand this, but we do. And so by could be and, and because, because we do, because but but now is made manifest to his saints, who is his Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Yahweh and the Holy Father, in the name of Yahweh Shah, the, the, the Lord and Savior, the Redeemer that we're gonna get our salvation from, and to his saints is the elect, 144,000 and one third elect, saints, prophets, servants. That's who he gave it to. That's just what it is. If you understand this, which I know us Hebrew Israelites do, but I'm I'm, I'm preaching to the lost sheep so that you can understand as well. Um, being able to foresight is part of the gift that we was given from the Most High Himself, and so we can do this because we're trying to foretell what's coming: martial law, mark of the beast, new world order, persecution, family of food, and, and the word. All of it is coming very shortly. We are in the day frames, time frames. Of when these things are going to come down. So we're, we're, we were blessed to be prudent men in order to be able to foretell this and, and get the 144,000 elected sealed so we can get out of here. And so that way it's got to happen. Hope this was uh, edifying. And we got the cheat code, brothers. Shout out to the um, 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 credit. We're credit due to the Yahweh Shah's coming back channel, brother, man. The cheat code was, it resonated with me crazy, man. I was like, wow, I was like, that's, that's my thing. A cheat code in football and knowing what's going on it was just that just hit me hard so i had to piggyback off of that one that was really awesome but you know more worried out there the better and um so i want to give all praise to the father yahweh in the name baha shem and the lord and savior and the redeemer um and the king of kings the, the mashiach the anointed one yahweh shah in the name um baha shem and the holy spirit rakah kudash um double honors and um to those apostles of GMS, man, that I learned all kinds of stuff from. This is amazing. Um, and the other Akim out there preaching the whole heart, truth, and sincerity. I follow y'all brothers too. We all own it together. And so uh, once you learn, you got it. The most high gave it to you. You got it, got it, give it back up. And um, that's what I'm doing. I'm going for that reward. Peace and blessings to the Akim out there. And also peace and blessings, peace and blessings to the 144,000 and the one third, the first fruits of kingdom of heaven. Most high willing, I'm one of those men. I, I, I.